Peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner boxing 24. Good evening, good evening. How's everyone doing this evening? Hope everybody's doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good on this side, as always. God is great. God is good. And I definitely can't complain. Again, in this corner boxing 24, please subscribe to the page. Please show your support. Please leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. And um, let's get right into this video. So there's a fight coming up in September that I really was trying to hold off and stay off of for as long as I could because I have admiration for both fighters, deep respect for both of these fighters, man. And that being none other than Canelo Alvarez, who's 59, two and two with 39 knockouts, man. Impressive record. 63 wins with 39 KOs. Awesome. Going up against Jamel, Lions only, Charlo, 35 and 1 with 19 KOs. Controversial loss to Tony Harrison. And uh, he's had some close fights. Canelo has had some close fights as well. Um, one in particular against Erislandi Lara. Um, very close fight. Could have went the other way. But since that fight, Canelo went on a hell of a tear. He's got much better. And defensively, he's very, very, very good. Very good defensively. <clears throat> so, we got a fight coming up that I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's a 50-50 fight. Now, again, I like both fighters, man. Got much love and respect for both fighters. Jamel is a dog. He fight anybody, he get in there, he do his thing. And we know what Canelo brings to the table, man. He's a dog too. Now, some say he's running from Benavidez. I mean, I, I kind of give him slack for that because he hasn't fought Benavidez. He should have fought Benavidez. So I will say I have some issues with that. But besides Benavidez, he's a hell of a fighter. Defense, offense, everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Moves his head, moves his body. People say his footwork is not the best because he stays in front of you, he stays in the pocket a little bit. But he can stay in the pocket because he got that defense. So what he lacks in footwork, he makes up in that defense, throws great punches, combinations, body, uppercuts, overhands. He got it all when he's on that A game. And at 168, he's going to be on that A game. This is not a 50-50 fight. I hate to say this, but I, this is a fight that I don't see what kind of game plan Derek James could really give him to hurt, to beat him. Pardon me, to beat Canelo Alvarez. This is a fight to me where Jamel Charlo can't hurt Canelo, but Canelo can hurt him. And that's pretty simple for me. I could leave it right there. I could leave it right there and not even say another word on this on this podcast. That Jamel Charlo cannot hurt Canelo because he got an iron chin, but Canelo can hurt him. To the, to, the, to the face, to the body, he can hurt him. I don't know if people's getting it twisted with that Bivol loss where he went up to 175 and he met a, 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 a very talented Dimitri Bivol who outpointed Canelo, really trained, really studied Canelo, knew when to move, when not to move, was defensive. And he frustrated Canelo, and that's Dimitri Bivol. But Jamel Charlo don't fight like that. Jamel Charlo had a hard time with Brian Castano. Now, he beat him the last fight. He did KO him, but that first fight, and even the beginning of that first fight, that second fight, he had problems with Castano. But definitely that first fight was very close. Very, very close. And... He was standing right in front of Charlo and backing him up. You know, even rocked him in that fight. So 
I mean, you know, Canelo is like Castano 7.0. Not no 2.0, 3.0, 7.0. He's coming with that speed. He's coming with that power. He's coming with that head movement. Like, it's like, it's just, too, too, for me, it's just too much for Jamal Charlo. I don't see what plan they could have for him. Because he could walk you down. He could stalk you down. He could fight from the outside if he wants to. He got a jab. He can make you miss and counter you, make you pay. He's a counter puncher. Like, it's just too much in the arsenal for me to believe that Jamal Charlo can beat him. And he definitely, I don't believe, it's almost 100 that he can't stop him. So if he can't stop him and he can't unbox him, what is he going to do with Canelo? I just don't see it. But I love Charlo, man. He's a dog, bro. And I don't want to just say he can't got no chance, but I just got to be real, man. Like, Canelo is that dude at 160, 168, and I just don't see how he can beat him. I was Spence need to concentrate on what's at hand next Saturday and what he's up against and stop talking about Canelo. He damn sure ain't ready for Canelo because he ain't even ready for Bud, in my opinion. And he gonna find that out next Saturday, but Charlo's going into that. I think Jamal Charlo would have had a better shot at Canelo because he's a little bit bigger. I don't know if he's stronger, maybe. But I just feel like he got a better jab, maybe a little better footwork, and a little more sturdy. That's just my opinion. One thing that Charlo has in his favor is the height, but Canelo's fought everybody taller than him, so I really don't think that matters. He is 5'11", 6 feet. Canelo's only like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, so he definitely got that on his side. But again, Canelo's fought all these tall fighters, man. You know, everybody's been taller than him, so don't think that really matters. Um, John Ryder was his last fight, and even though he didn't stop him, he beat him up the whole fight. He busted his nose up, and I, I think John Ryder said he was bleeding through his mouth, so he really hurt him, um, damaged him. And it's going to be a hell of a fight, man, but I just don't see how Canelo can lose that fight. If he's on his A game, I don't see it. But we're going to see. Boxing, you know, it's full of surprises sometimes. They think it happened. Anything can happen. I would say it's a 70-30 fight. I give 70 Canelo, 30 to Charlo. That's what I say. No 60-40, no 50-50. No, no nah, I say 70-30, even 80-20, man. Like, Canelo is really serious, man, about this fight. I think he's serious about this fight. He said he's serious about the fight. He said he don't have to get ready because he stays ready. I think he's going to be up to this challenge with Charlo. He know he can't lose this fight. He know he has to win this fight. Whether it's by stoppage or unanimous decision, he has to win this fight. And I just don't see Charlo beating him without a stoppage. He can't outbox Canelo. It's just not going to happen. So we're going to see in September. We're going to see what happens. So that's all I really got for tonight. Peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner box in 24. Please subscribe to the page again. Please leave your comments. Let me know how you feel. Everybody enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace.